So here with Bernardo Jr., or uh, Joey, as we call him. Um, and I want to go through how to, to use De La Hiva and not get put in the saddle. Okay, so I think one of the reasons a lot of people have avoided playing these open guards that are so common in the gi, such as De La Hiva and Waiter and, uh, and K-Guard, is because of the threat of, of the person going for leg locks. So, and it's a question I've had a few times about my newest instruction, which is on, on Nogi, De La Hiva and Waiter, and that's how do you stop your opponent doing the back step? So basically, Joey's gonna back step, and he's gonna land in the saddle here, okay? And this can happen when I start to play De La Hiva, and this is obviously not a good outcome if this occurs, okay? So let's just go back, and if you wanna do that again, Joey. So, I've got De La Hiva hook, he steps back, usually, I'll just go back, he's usually gonna hold my knee, just so I, he kinda traps the knee, and if you look, my knee line gets caught by the legs, and he can then start to triangle his legs, lock up the saddle, I'm defending a leg lock, I'm no longer in an offensive position if I, if this occurs, okay? So let's have a look at some things we can do to stop that. And actually, I like, if, if I do the defense well, I actually, and, and put my positioning well, I like when they try to do this. I find it gives me a chance to attack the Baron Bowler. So the most, the first thing you should think about is having a shallow De La Hiva hook. Or really, so the main thing I'm focusing on here is I don't want Joey's leg to come over the top of my knee line, okay? If he comes over the top of my knee line, this is no good, right? So. That means I want to keep my left foot, my De La Hiva hook, on the near leg and not looking for the far leg. Okay, I shall go from the front on so they can see. Uh, a bit more. So I'm keeping a shallow De La Hiva hook hooked on this near leg here, not looking for a deep De La Hiva. Okay, so often we want to get around towards the back and to look for the back, we extend our knee from our chest to go a deep De La Hiva. This is a good move in the gi. It's a bit more risky no gi when your opponent can start to sit through and take that knee line. So I'm actively working at pulling my knee to my chest and getting a, a shallow hook here. Try and step over this knee line now. Very difficult for him to get past that. As he moves that way, I'm keeping my knee towards my chest. Okay, And there's, there's just no gap to drop the, the hips in to take uh, the saddle. In addition to that, I'm pushing up Okay, so I'm not trying to extend away with my De La Hiva hook. There's no real use of that anyway. I'm trying to get his hips to the mat. So my foot should be kicking backwards like this. My knee's coming actually towards my chest or my shoulder as I kick back, trying to get the hips down to the mat. So if I'm using a shallow hook and I'm kicking back, okay, I can start getting the hips down and still not expose my knee line. So it gets a little different once you get their hips down because I actually do want to change at a certain point towards having a deep De La Hiva hook, okay? So, when I start doing this, it starts becoming, you know, this, this is when I want to start looking for the back and do the Berambola, but it becomes a bit more risky for my knee line, okay? But you, you do want to actually do this, because I need to, I need to keep his hips pinned, and I need to start, like, hooking the far hip, so I'm starting to get a chance to, to climb to the back. And you see, like, by hooking the far hip, if Joey scoots away, I'm quite well attached to him, if I'm just on the near leg, scoot away, I'll just sweat. Yeah, like, make space, I'm getting like further away, very far from the back. So once we get them down, I do actually want to put my leg a little deeper. So I am giving myself more risk of Joey pulling this leg, pull that, drag that leg back through, and taking the saddle. The good thing is, at this point, once their hips are down, if they're trying to pull that through, if I just spin with Joey, and face my knee downwards, he won't get the saddle, he'll actually give me the Berambolo even better. So as he's pulling that leg through, I turn my hips down. Okay. One, that's freed my knee. Okay. And two, it's got me into the wedge position, which is excellent for the back take. We're not really going through this, but we end up in this, this wedge, which is great to expose the back. So again, we're using a shallow De La Hiva hook, knocking our opponent's hips down to the mat, and then we're gonna put our hook a bit deeper. Okay. So, as long as I can actually point my knee downwards as he starts trying to pull this through, my knee will stay safe and I can go for the back. The other important factor here is my top leg is actually going to like block his upper body attaching and pulling my leg in. Okay, I'm just going to show this. If Joey tries to back step, uh, 
when I'm standing and he, and he tries to commit to like a reverse half guard or, or, or the saddle. It could be, people will mix these two together. So he sort of back steps, tries to go like reverse half. And if I put my leg in the wrong way, he puts this, goes for the saddle as well. This is quite common, okay? So from here, I'm just gonna turn this way a bit. If I can frame under the armpit here, I keep my knee pointing down, okay? So even if he tries to pull that through, it's actually kind of difficult to capture my knee line. See, my knee's pointing down. Okay, if my knee points up, it's very easy to capture. Okay, so I'm just turning my hips a little bit. I want to get my right leg to block his chest and keep it away from my leg. If, he, if I can keep his chest away, he can't really attach to my bottom leg well. Okay, so if you watch this. I framed the armpit. I bring my leg in here. Okay, try and hold my leg. Hold it as tight as you want. Okay, by extending with my right leg, I start to free my knee. So he's got my knee, okay, pushing and pulling, freeing my knee, and I can continue towards the back. So again, if Joey back steps, even if he does start to capture my knee, I point the knee downwards, get my top leg in front, can be shin or even my knee, and I use that to peel his upper body away. I'm pressuring forward as I take my knee to the ground, okay? This is gonna give me room to spin under, and Baron Bowler.